start. I'll film it here. Okay. This is the elevator at Bloomingdale's Furniture Gallery, Roosevelt Field, I'm Orange hungry. City, New York. It's probably going to re-level if I know this thing. Okay. And just so you know, this is a Bloomingdale's cab. Or not. Let's be quiet and listen to the motor. It's a beautiful motor on this thing. Yep. Interlock date 1103, that seems about right. Basement, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Take one more ride. Did you notice mm -hmm. um, the second we got down there, mm -hmm. this whole elevator now reeks of chlorine? Re yeah. Because <laughs> that turned to pool. Yeah. The pool is like on the other side of this floor, though. It's hard to believe that they have a pool in the mall. Well, no, let me tell you what they did. There's actually the pool cuts off around the corner, there's a support beam that goes right through. Mm -hmm. The more amazing thing they did was they actually reinforced the building slightly in one area to fit a basketball court in down there. Okay. Like, as in, they need to get rid of some of the support beams and reinforce the ceiling. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most amazing thing they did down here. Take it to one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to walk past everybody upstairs again. Okay. This elevator is owned by Bloomingdale's, right? Yes, it is. But Export Fitness uses it on a loan. And by the way, you know that Export Fitness is a 24-7 gym, right? Mm. So this elevator is technically operating 24-7. Between 1 and B. Yeah, the second floor gets locked off. Look, it says shit. <laughs> and speaking of shit, 